Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? This is the thing that I've been thinking about for such a long time. But now I did it. I sampled my own drums. Let me show you how I did it. So here is my drum set. Uh, it's a Premier kit. It's a 22-inch bass drum, a 13-inch tom and a 16-inch tom. The snare drum I use for the moment is a Ludwig Superphonic, which I really like. And it seems like the microphones really like this drum. It always sounds good recorded or, or mic'd. The cymbals, uh, for the moment I have a Sabian 13-inch, pretty dry hi-hat. Istanbul 16-inch crash, a Zillian A Custom 17-inch crash, a small splash symbol. This symbol I found in the garbage. It's really interesting sounding. It's really cool to play. A pingy ride, which is the A Custom 20-inch, and sort of a wet ride, which is an old Zillian A ride symbol, and an even older 18-inch Zillion Crash. A pretty lousy Shina. It sounds like a gunshot. It's cool if you want a gunshot, but as a Shina, mm, no. Nah. Here I just put some rubbish 16-inch, no, is it 16-inch? 14-inch Crash symbols on top of each other as an extra hi-hat. I mic this with an AKG D112 in the inside of the bass drum and on the outside I have a ribbon mic. Those two combined I think captures both the attack and the bottom end of the bass drum. The snare drum I have an SM57 on the bottom and an SC electronic mic on the top. It sounds a bit like an SM57 but I think the leakage into the SC electronic mic is better sounding than the leakage into an SM57. The difference is not huge. Uh, just a small condenser on the hi-hat. I got these Sennheiser E604s on the toms, which I think sounds really good. And I also don't need stands. And I have such a small room that stands are only in the way. Um, I got a warm audio 47JR. It's supposed to be a Neumann. U47 FET clone. I don't think it sounds like that, but it sounds really good. This mic, I move around. I use it in different positions. I didn't use this when I sampled my drums, though. For the overheads, I got these Octava. I think they're called 012 or something. I tried a lot of different overhead mics before I chose these ones. I wanted microphones that captured the whole kit without capturing too much of the reflections of my small room and I found these to be beautiful sounding and a ribbon stereo mic that is really good at capturing rooms without getting harsh all of these mics of course change from time to time but I always have my drum set mic'd because I'm working here alone so if I want to record some drums on something I can do it instantly but I try new things, I change from time to time. There's no rule, so why not experiment a bit? So to sample my drums, of course, I have to record my drums. So I did some gain staging and then I recorded a groove. When the groove was recorded, I also processed the recording a little bit with EQ and slight compression on the room mics, and then it sounds like this. So I started out by playing a groove, because I want to process the drums as a whole drum set instead of just individual drums. And bear with me here, I'm not a drummer. I think it's fun to play drums, but I'm not a drummer. Probably a real drummer would play this much better than me, but I think it's fun and who doesn't want to have fun? 
So when I've recorded my drum groove, I had to record single hits. Which means hits on every drum, bass drum a few times, snare drum, all the cymbals, etc, etc, a lot of single hits. It took a while, so I won't bore you with all the hits I made. So when all the single hits were recorded, I bounced instrument by instrument. I will show you here on the bass drum. I bounced it first with only the close mics, but with the processing on. And I call that bass drum close. And then I bounced it with all the mics on, including the room mics, and I called it tutti, because tutti in the classical world means everybody. And finally, for the bass drum and the snare drum, I also bounced only the room mics without any close mics. So I did that for all of my drums. Bass drum, snare drum, tom one, tom two, hi-hat one, hi-hat two, cymbal by cymbal, a lot of single hits. Then I took my bounces in another project of Logic and I cut them up and I drag them into my sampler. And then I can just try to play on my keyboard and see if I have some samples. So I made a few sampler instruments. I made bass drum and snare drum close, bass drum and snare drum tutti, and also the room mics for bass drum and snare mics, which I can use for triggering if I have other drums. I can use the room mics to trigger the room of the close mics from another drum set, if I need it. I did the toms close and tutti, hi-hats close and tutti, cymbals close and tutti. So how do my sample drums sound? Well, the close mics, just a little bit of processing, a little bit of reverb and stuff like that, sounds like this. And how does it sound when I have the tutti mic sampler instrument on? It sounds like this. I have the Roger That song up and I programmed the drums. With the close mic sampler instrument, it sounds like this. Everywhere I go. Something like that. And if I have the tutti instruments, I feel that these instruments are like a starting point. So, of course, you can process them more if you want to. Reverbs, compression, EQ, whatever you like. Distortion, maybe. And the tutti sampler instruments sound like this. Everywhere I go And there you have my sampler instrument from my own drum set. So how would you sample your drums? How would you do it? Would you do something different from what I've done? Please leave it in the comment and let us all know. Let's start a discussion of how is the best way to sample your own drum set. And the Swedish word of today is of course drums. Drums in Swedish is trummor. Trummor. And Roger that.